why should we drink more Alsace? Simply because right now Alsace is probably one of these underrated, underestimated wine regions on the, on the planet. We're producing, we're a region that produces probably some of the finest white wines on that, on that beautiful planet of wine and wines that age, wines that age very well. So wines that people can actually trust to be drinking after five, six, seven, eight, ten years of, uh, of bottle. We're, we're in a region that is a mosaic of soil. You can walk 100 meters in the vineyards and find two, three, four different types of soil. We, we, we generally say that if you see someone looking more down than up in Alsace, it's either a geologist or a, or a wine producer. We're growing Riesling, we're go growing Gewurztraminers, we're growing uh, Pinot Gris, Pinot Blanc, which you, you rarely to never find in the, in the rest of France. So we're growing those grapes with very much a French touch. We're fully fermenting the wines, we're producing dry wines. All of our range is, is a range of, of, of dry wines, or as dry as possible, which means that you will find that definite French character in our bottles, despite that tall shape and despite, obviously, that these, these names that sound very, that sound very Alemannic and German. The Gentil, we're allowed to tweak it a little bit. It's a cheat, it's a cheat wine. We're able to, you know, if we think the wine would stand a little bit more fruit, a little bit more Gewurztraminer will give it a little bit more of that charm and of that, of that outgoing character. If we think the wine needs a little bit more structure, a little bit more Riesling, and you will have that high acid that will bring vibrance to the wine. So this is really the wine. Blending the six grapes of Alsace allows us to be really basically design the wine that we want. And what we want is a wine that is aromatic, outgoing, easy to understand and approach, but at the same time without being too obvious.